Good morning. Hi. What's up? Hi, squad. Night owls. Hey, pretty Miss G. Yes, I know I've been incognito for a few days. And now I'm up working in the middle of the night. I am such a night owl. I can't take it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, let me go tell the people I am still alive, honey. Yes, Charleston, South Carolina is up. Okay. You thought I had quit the internet? No. Sometimes I just need a little break. Then I got to get my hair done. I didn't like the way my hair was looking today. So I'm going to get my hair tomorrow. So I'll be back on. <laughs> I'll be back online tomorrow, okay? <laughs> you said you you be doing it too, Mr. Motivation. Child. I be having these little breaks. Uh, yeah, pretty busy. I'm up. Now it's like I'm going to be up all night. I got some videos to edit for some other people. I don't know how I became a video editor because I don't feel like I'm that great at it. But, you know. I said I was going to help some people out. I've been helping people out and stuff. And so I got to do that. I got to upload some videos. Now it's like, dang. I'm still stuck in front of the computer. <laughs> Happy birthday, Latavia. Happy birthday. You said I look beautiful? Child. I went to the dentist. <laughs> My tea clean. So that's, that's one good thing. Went to the dentist today. And I came home and fell out. I, mean, I don't know what it is about this getting dark. I don't know. It seems like we'd be used to it by now. We as in me. But shoot. Soon as it got dark, I went to sleep. Then I woke up. It was midnight. I'm like, what the hell? I done missed. Listen, I done missed the live. See, this is why I don't schedule lives but an hour in advance. Because if I had scheduled it when I was thinking about scheduling, I'd have made a thumbnail and everything. Look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my thumbnail. Just so y'all know I'm not lying. How I put it up here? I don't even know how to put it up here. <laughs> is that it right there? Which one is it? The little camera thing? I don't know. Is it this one? No, that's not it. That's to turn off the camera. I don't be knowing how to do nothing. Is it this one? Is it that? Is it this one? No, it's not that one. I don't child, I don't know. I would show it to you, but I can't figure out how. <laughs> you believe me? Thank you, pretty misty. But I had made I made my thumbnail, so I'm gonna save it for tomorrow. It's got Nene and Bethany on it, and it's got of course Ashanti and Nelly, and. Those were the four people that was on it. And, of course, I was going to add some more people in there, of course. But uh, that Nene and Bethany situation, you know, I had got a little inside information. Got to talk about it. And then I was going to go live on Patreon, but I'm like, it's probably too late for my Patreon people. So let me go see what y'all doing over here. You can't wait. We It's going to be, we're going to have a good time. You know, it's going to be a long one, too. It is going to be a long one, and especially because I have my hair done, and I'll find me a cute outfit. Okay. What happened to Dion? I don't know what had happened to Dion. You mean the, the uh, Dion and Tracy Edmonds? I don't know, child. They say they broke up a long time ago. They just now telling us. That's the crazy thing. Sold out everywhere. Look, I'm trying to... Um, Oh, look, I'm going to go live on TikTok, too. I don't know how. Uh, 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 uh. See how this works. See how this works. Go live on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, TikTok. What a little live button at? Oh, there you go right there. Live. Okay. Ooh. 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 I need a filter on TikTok too. <laughs> Let me see. I'm gonna go live anyway. Um, hey, I don't really have nothing to talk about. I just wanted to come and say hi to y'all. I know it's late, but we got a lot to talk about tomorrow or this evening. <sighs> I just love the internet though. I really do, but sometimes I have to sit out. And enjoy it. Look, like like people say, you got to go outside and touch grass. Sometimes I have to go outside and touch grass and leave the internet to y'all. Because it's like, shoot, I live here. Y'all just be visiting. 
<laughs> you ready for it, Rob? Okay. Hey, TikTok. Hey, Instagram. I'm on TikTok and Instagram. If you're not on my TikTok, y'all, TikTok.com, I am a T L N. I've been posting my outfits because you know I lost a little five pounds. <laughs> I won't oversleep tomorrow because I got to go get my hair done. So I'm going to be up anyway. So hopefully I won't. Um, I'm not going to come home and take no nap. You know, them naps will be getting me. Because I go to got, come home, take a nap, fall asleep <laughs> as soon as it get dark, like 7. Then be waking up at like 10, 11. To be like, damn, it's too late. It is too late. Um... Oh, y'all over here on TikTok, too. Look at God. Look at the gods. Yes, naps turn into sleep. That sleep be good, too. <laughs> that sleep be so good. Be like, dang, I, they was calling me. Honey, I be dreaming good, sleeping good. Then I wake up and like, dang, I'm be up all night. So here I am, up with y'all, talking. Then I have some new games to play for my uh, Patreons. If you are a member of Patreon, I know some of y'all are Mr. Motivation in here. Who else in here on Patreon? Press 1 if you're a Patreon member. I don't know. But I got this little Ghetto Pass game so we can have some little... Some little... Uh, it's an adult drinking game, so it should be fun. I haven't even opened it up. So I got some little things to give away for... Um, Oh, look, we do have some patrons in here. Okay. I have some things to give away for Christmas. You know, I can't wait. Then I, listen, I went and got some poinsettias and stuff for my little background for the office. But right now I'm sitting in the living room. Y'all know I never sit in the living room because I hate the living room. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but I like my living room TV and it's got Christmas music on it, so... You got your coffee mug? Ah, oh, cool beans, Mr. Motivation. Send me a picture with it so I can put it on the wall. <laughs> cool beans. You was just watching the last video on Patreon. We had a ball, honey. We was breaking down all that Diddy stuff and listening to lyrics and stuff. That Bryson Tiller song he did, Gotta Move On. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Mr. Motivation. And thank you for always being so positive and being a motivating factor in my life. You like Patreon more than the lives? I do too at times because, you know, Patreon, we like a little family over there. We just be sitting and kicking and talking and it's a little bit more relaxed. And, you know, even with Instagram and stuff, it's a little bit more relaxed than um, YouTube. I got to stop making YouTube feel like a job. You know what I'm saying? Because now that, um, you know, I got my little YouTube podcast everything it feels more like i gotta do it it's a job i gotta get it right i gotta get my agenda get up together i gotta get my thumbnails together and it's like it just you know my anxiety be on a hundred thousand trillion so i gotta start like go back to yesteryear y'all remember when i used to just go live in the middle of the night <laughs> on youtube i'm gonna start doing that again so we could just talk and have fun uh, you said you received your hoodie. Oh, congrats. Okay. I'll for little C. Now that I got the free one, I need to order other color. <laughs> you got your hoodie too. Okay. Cool. 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 Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I try to tell the truth. I do. I do. I do. Well, I don't even try. I just do. I was just telling another friend of mine today that a lot of people feel like, um, the lies are more entertaining than the truth. So, of course, the people who don't know the real tea begin all the clicks and views. And the people like me who be telling y'all the real tea, <laughs> y'all be like, Michelle is boring. And I'm like, well, I mean, what y'all want me to do? Lie to you? Okay. Y'all want me to lie to you about the Bethany and Nene situation? Y'all want me to lie to you about the quad and sweet tea situation? Y'all want me to lie to you about Phaedra? Y'all want me to lie? I literally be telling y'all the truth. And then weeks later, it comes out that I'm telling y'all the truth. Like, I just saw um, somebody talking about, I guess, Dr. Heavenly and Carlos King had did a video or something. And she said, I guess now she's flipping on Quad. She said that um, Quad sat out because she was renegotiating her contract. And what did I tell y'all? Quad wasn't filming at the beginning because she was renegotiating her contract. So, yes. Mm -hmm. 
But they was like, they got enough without Quad. Now Quad came just to be the, I mean, she need the job. Of course, we all need the job. King Buddha said, Michelle is funny. I love the nicknames you make up for people like Mr. Man Hands and Colorist Claudia. Well, I mean, listen, they make nicknames up for me, so I make nicknames up for them. And then they be sitting over there acting like they all innocent. <laughs> How you innocent? And you be calling me names and stuff, calling me Gary Coleman and stuff. I be Gary Coleman all day long, but you still Colorist Claudia and you still Mr. Man Hands. And I guess my nicknames hurt worse because <laughs> they true. <laughs> I don't mind being called something that I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kwa also doesn't talk to the ladies when the camera stopped working. Yep, we knew that, Mr. Eye Candy. Tasha saying Nelly has a three-year-old child. What? I know he has, uh, what he's got, like four grown adult children. He had two children of his own. Where you coming from? Where you coming from? Come here. He got two children of his own, and then he adopted his step his stepsister's two kids who were um remember after his stepsister died, I think she died of uh was it cancer? I can't remember. But you remember when Nelly um a lot of y'all probably don't remember. Remember Nelly with the tip drill video and he was at Spelman and he had like a um fundraiser and all that stuff for uh his sister and then they was like protesting him because of the because of the um the misogyny and all that stuff in the video and they didn't want him at Spelman, blah 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 blah. But that sister passed away and he adopted the two kids. So he got four kids, but they grown now. You remember? Okay. I don't know what age range I be talking to sometimes. Cause some people don't be acting like they be. <laughs> but y'all, y'all with me, okay? Y'all with me. It was cancer. Okay, thank you. Oh, look, somebody's from Africa. Hey. His daughter has a three-year-old son. Okay, so he is he's a grandfather. Mm, okay. She needed bone marrow. Right, right, right. I remember. Hey, King Buddha over there on the uh, TikToks, y'all. I'm just talking. Um, What was we talking Oh, we was talking about... Oh, okay. I was talking about telling the truth. Okay, so, you know, the whole uh, Nene situation. Everybody talking about Nene coming back. Nene coming back. Bravo following Nene. Nene following Bravo. And now Bethany, you know, they went on her platform and, and, and basically... Was like I talked to Nene, I called Nene, and Nene said she uh, she was clearing up her Instagram because she just wanted it to be a certain way. And I told y'all that I told y'all she wanted her Instagram to be aesthetically pleasing, like the whole Instagram model things. And if you notice, she's been posting more pictures of herself, candids, gym pictures. You know what I'm saying? So she wants her her page to be more of a reflection of her so she took off a lot of things and she does that a lot like when she's promoting like um flyers for events and things like that she'll post it but it won't be on there no longer than a day or two or three or whatever so there's that and then as far as like bravo and nini you know following each other like i think one of them was already following the other i don't know who was following who I think Bravo was following Nene and then Nene decided to go ahead and follow them back or something. So the blog saw the change that she had followed them. It's like, oh, my God, they're following each other. They must mean that something is happening. But anyway, and then I don't like the fact that um, they keep making it seem like, you know, she's she's betraying Bethany by by talking to Bravo if she was talking to Bravo but she you know from what I understand she wasn't but you know you ain't heard that from me but it's like how is she betraying Bethany when Nene been fighting this fight for how long now y'all know we we've been through everything we've been through uh petitions we've been through the whole boycott bravo era we've been through like like all of that so for what three four four at least five years now so now that bethany is on this whole fuck bravo train it's like nene is indebted to like be on board with her i don't think that's fair and remember i told y'all that i didn't like her partnering with her anyway but that's just my bit you know my opinion because i don't feel like there has to be like a great white savior you know it's it's great that you know they partner or at least she has somebody that's in the bravo sphere kind of speaking out for her but at the end of the day it's like is it helping <laughs> who is it helping 
Mm-hmm. Nene do need her own podcast. Well, she does have her own YouTube, so y'all need to continue to support her YouTube because I keep telling her she needs to post more often. And uh, there's something special coming up on her YouTube soon, so y'all need to go ahead and subscribe to her YouTube channel. You know, she got the Pillow Talk series, and I think she's doing something with that, so it'll be it'll be interesting. Uh, you said mediocre Bethany. <laughs> That's what Omarosa said. Child. Ratings are down on RHOA and don't know when they're coming back. I told y'all, like literally they are on hiatus. Nobody knows nothing. Candy knows nothing. Kenya knows nothing. Marlo knows nothing. Sonya knows nothing. Drew knows nothing. Nobody knows anything. So at the end of the day, all the people who were on the cast last season, they haven't received any kind of uh, positive or negative uh, input of what will happen because Bravo trying to figure it out. The production company trying to figure it out. They don't know what they're going to do. So that's why Candy on this whole, hey, I want Nene back on. Yes, I would love to see Nene and all these people back on because Candy know that if there's not a, a big change, she out of a job. She need that money like everybody else. <laughs> Candy said they'll know something in January. Did I tell you? <laughs> but then I tell I've been telling y'all that for like six months now. I'm just saying. Um, it's crazy that we learn more from Instagram and live than our own employers. Okay. Well, sometimes it happens, child. It's, that's the way it happens. But you know, I I just wanna I just hope they I don't know if they're gonna find a new group of girls, if they're gonna find some people that are um associated with some of the other girls. Uh, do I think they need to replace the whole cast? No, I don't think they need to replace the whole cast. I think a lot of people are invested in the cast that are there. I do feel that. However, I, I feel like because there are so many people, well, not many, maybe three, uh, people on the cast who were making too much money, like they can't afford to bring people on because they got a budget just like anybody else. So Candy being top heavy, she might either have to take a pay cut or become a friend, and then they could probably hire two, three people, <laughs> you know? And I, I'm not trying to talk nobody out of a job, but how can you justify making two million or however much a season and you don't bring much to the table? The most you've done is, you know, make the ratings go down. I'm just saying. R-H-A-O-A on hold so that Bravo can pay Nene what they owe her in a settlement. Ooh, never know. You never know. But, you know, Nene is shining. And what what's very interesting is how everybody is using Nene's name for a click and a view. Like, it is evident that her name rings bells. And, you know, I know everybody be like, I'm captain of the Team NeNe fan club of NeNe Nation and all that, and I'm not. However, I mean, it's just common sense when you see it. Just a few weeks ago, we talked about this. Um, a PR person wrote an article claiming that Heavenly was the new NeNe, or Heavenly was Bravo's replacement, and they was comparing Heavenly to NeNe. And it's like, who would compare Dr. Heavenly to NeNe? And so it's like they were using Nene to kind of bolster that outrage. Cause you know, when people saw that post, people were going to talk about it. People were going to speculate. People going to be like, what the hell? And so now people want to see well, what the, what is Dr. Heavenly's, uh, doing over there? Cause you know, the ratings were low. So they using Nene to push people over to watch Married to Medicine. Even with, uh, Phaedra on there, it's like the ratings still not going up. Whose fault is it? You want candy gone? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> candy got too many mouths to feed. I don't want her gone, but I do think she needs a demotion. I do think she needs a demotion. Nene is coming back. Mark my words. She's about to blow all of their minds. God showed you that. Okay, Mr. Motivation. You know, listen to God when he speaks to you. Uh, you watched Todd's YouTube today. He had Mama Joyce and trying to audition Candy and her glam school. <laughs> I think he's doing that on his channel because Candy can't do it on hers. Peep game. 
Remember what I told you, how Candy's uh, YouTube channel is sanctioned by production and by Bravo or uh, whatever. And so during the season, she goes on there to spin the narrative of whatever's happening during the season. Why isn't she talking on her channel right now about Housewives? Nobody's asking that question. Why is Todd over there talking about Housewives and not Candy? So is that their workaround? Like Todd can do it and Candy can sit there, but it's not coming out of Candy's mouth. So Todd is not the one under contract. So you see what I mean? Like Candy's a smart business person. And, you know, she got she got Todd in her corner. She got her candy coated click. And I'm sure they be sitting over there strategizing on how they can get the word out. And what they're doing is using Todd's channel to do it. So now people talking about what's going on on Todd's channel. And he ain't even got that many followers. Why are you not posting that on your channel? Hmm. Uh, they need me to come back to help the ratings. <laughs> Johnny! Oh, 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 Johnny. <laughs> I've been looking for you, Johnny. It's late. Can you come on, Johnny? I know you ain't. But can you come on? I need to talk to you about this, uh... I need to talk to you about this wedding journey. I saw you working. <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Winston. What's up, Johnny? <laughs> What's up? Let me look, let me take, let me clear out my camera. Shit, I, I'm just getting in the house. <laughs> what? I was like, look at Johnny working. Oh, I didn't know you was a wedding planner. It's doing that almost twenty years now. What? Okay. Yeah. I yeah. thought you was doing other stuff. I remember you were doing like catering. I do all that. I have an event planned and catering company. Oh, okay. Well, I need to keep that in mind and, you know, have you over here and do a little song song. Sure, man. I'll show you what I'm working with. Okay. So, how was it working with the ladies of marriage medicine? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, it actually wasn't bad. Um, I had to put some of them in check, but um, it actually was, it wasn't as bad. And, of course, you know, when it comes to the show, how um, people only see certain things because a lot of stuff got edited. Mm -hmm. um, I had the same issue with Bravo that I did in two, uh, when I did candy stuff. Oh. The same week of the wedding, the venue changed. Uh-huh. And so that was the same situation with the, the medicine wedding. So it was, was that something that, well, you can't say. I was about to say, was that something production did for like shock value or that was real, real? Well, that was real. The, the, okay. the reason what happened, um, the wedding was supposed to be at the Peachtree Club. Mm -hmm. And um, the Peachtree Club was like, no, they don't want Married to Medicine filming there because they just assume that it will be drama or issues and they want to protect their brand because the Peachtree Club is a members only type um, thing. Mm -hmm. So they want to protect that image. So okay. Bravo was like, well, it's a non-negotiable. We got a film, so y'all have to change our wedding venue. Now, mind you, all invitations, everything has been out to all the guests. Everybody's expecting to come to the Peachtree Club. This is now four days before the wedding. Like, is that so, legal? Can they do that? When, when you, as a cast member, when you sign up for a wedding, uh -huh. um, and if the network is taking over, you no longer have control over your day. Oh, wow. So they didn't have a choice but to, I guess, go with whatever Bravo was saying. Yeah. Now, the issue was coming in when I had to end up making that call to teach on the phone and telling them, hey, things are going up because Bravo was dropping the ball and not trying to pay for certain stuff. And when you go from a small venue to a larger one like the Starlin, that's a, a bigger design budget, things that they didn't even... Um, yeah. Because Gregory and Tisha retained me way before the show was even in place. We was playing this wedding since last year. They oh, wanted wow. something small and intimate. Uh -huh. When it switched to the other venue, the guest count went up. Mm -hmm. So it was almost 200 guests versus being like an intimate wedding for like 75 to 100. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, that was a big change. And <laughs> I'm like, man, it, it was it was interesting. It was definitely, it was a so lot how of do you stuff. feel about the way they treat and teach you this season? I'm kind of, I, I don't um, like this. I, I told, I told Tish, when getting into this reality, you have to focus. Everybody is not your friend. Mm -hmm. um, I say you got to definitely stand up for yourself because this is a reading circle. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And if you can't come back with the comebacks, then they will swallow you up and throw you out. So I told her definitely these these are not <laughs> basic look, you know, these are strong opinionated women. Strong opinionated, that, that, they that older you, and wiser yeah. than her. Then you got the snake over there, Dr. Heavily backstabbing and <laughs> I don't like it. It's just giving real it's, low vibrational. It's 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 a lot going on. It's, it's definitely I mean, it's juicy. Fun. I'm going to say it's juicy. It's worthwhile. It's juicy. It's juicy. It's you know, I'll be tuning in just to see what they're going to do to Tisha this week. But if you notice, every week so far, mm -hmm. she's been like the topic of conversation every yeah. week. Yeah. Even with right. Quad trying to like take over with, you know, Phaedra and the, the funeral home and stuff. Like it was still all about <laughs> Tisha to me. Quad, Quad trying to save a check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Quad is doing anything that she can at this point to save her checks. Yeah. Because Bravo really trying to boot her out the door and just mm -hmm. leave tea. Mm -hmm. But they're trying to see how they can keep a dynamic. Because right now, after that, okay, now you no longer Mrs. Lunswood is now T. Like, what's the goal? So what's the goal? What, what's the story? Be, so then I think Quad would end up being just a friend of the show. Mm -hmm. If if that continues if to they're friends because my thing is yeah. heavily going on her world tour saying that quad don't talk to nobody outside of casting they ain't really friends so to yeah. me it's like she talking her right about the job i mean because leave it to heavenly she she created everything she helped everybody on and all this other stuff but did you see that article talk about heavenly was the new nini <sighs> I saw I that. Like, I said. What? I said. I was saying to myself. I said, "Now, who did heavily pay to write this article?" That, that's she was what the I first said. one that post, she was the first one to post it on her page. No, but listen. You know who wrote? But listen. No shade to Crystal, but Crystal is a PR person by trade. Okay. She's was her. She used to be enchanted PR, but now yeah. she writes for like Rolling Out and a couple other magazines. But it's giving me but PR. It's, but it's, there's no. Post. There's no. There's no comparison. Like. Heavily to Nene, no, not even the slight, not even the comedy aspect. Because even putting Nene on Nene's wig, she ain't got it. <laughs> yeah, Nene is just Nene. Nene just has a different it factor that, and she's charismatic. Yeah, you can't, um, you can't hev uh, Heavily to me is just me messy drama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, Nene is charismatic, and it's like the drama just kind of. Yeah. Or is it her orbit, which is exactly. hilarious? Yeah, yeah. You, you definitely can't compare them to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, you know, I've been getting my life or whatever. <laughs> you know, but people, been... people were like, how did you and Phaedra end up on the same season of Married to Medicine when y'all both live housewives on the same season? Yes, what's T? Tell me what happened. I didn't even know Phaser was coming on this season. Really? Like I said, initially Dr. Gregory and T hired me like last year. So oh, wow. they I think in February they were approached about the show. Uh-huh. So this was two months before the wedding. Okay. So we didn't know Phaser was actually gonna be a part of it until mid March. Okay. Wow. When we had to shoot a scene. And so there was a scene, I don't know, well, Bravo edited a lot of stuff because there was a scene at Gregory and Teacher's home where I actually met with Teacher doing a mock setup and Phaedra was actually there. Oh, okay. And so it was a couple of different stuff that got Was that like, your, your first time seeing each other and greeting each other and stuff? Yeah, you know. so I guess um, since me and Phaedra had relationships past, they tried to make it seem as if Phaedra referred me to them for storyline content. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't even the case. Because like I said, I was already retained and hired way before yeah. all of that stuff. But I, I don't know how they tied that in. Because I actually didn't get a chance to watch this season. <laughs> I, watched, I, watched the, I watched the wedding episode. But then I thought it was kind of weird uh, when I saw the clip when I called in the middle of her bachelorette party or whatever they had mm -hmm. going on. That she put the call on speaker. And I was like, that's that why I asked you about was, was production behind that or something, because I, that because it's like I called her again afterwards. Like, you know, once I saw the episode, I was like, why did you put us on speaker? Mm -hmm. I was like, that wasn't a room conversation. Anytime you're having a conversation with your wedding planner. I mean, it's, it, I could have been saying anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. 
I especially if you not knowing that that's weird. I thought that was very weird, but maybe production or somebody her sister was trying to nudge her to tell her to take the phone off of speaker. That's where that little issue probably stemmed from because her sister was trying to help her. Oh, okay. So her sister was like, girl, take that off of speaker. That's a that's your wedding plan. Take out so you know. She was trying to let the let the room hear whatever conversation. She didn't know what the conversation was going to be about. Yeah. I could have been calling and say, "Hey, the wedding off." Okay. <laughs> I could have been saying anything, but you know, you well, I guess you know she's doing what, what she was especially, paid to do. Uh, especially me, because you'll never know come out my mouth. <laughs> oh, <child. laughs> oh, I want to get into so much stuff, and I'm trying to be respectful of you know. But I, you know, I want to ask look, get, get, look, get, get into it. I, look, I tell you what I can and can't answer. A ask away. <laughs> so what happened with that lawsuit you had filed when you oh. and Phaedra, you know, and Phaedra well, you know, I, I referred Oscar, you to somebody Oscar, else, right? Oscar Prelo and Lisa York Bowman were my attorneys. Phaedra was never actually my attorney. Okay. So I only went to her for legal advice because I've been in the entertainment industry since 2009. It wasn't because I worked with Candy and them that I knew or met people. That's what a lot of people misconstrued. A lot of people thought that I only knew people because of them. I've been out there way before them. Mm -hmm. um, so I literally went for legal advice. I didn't know Bravo was filming that day in her office. Because when she came in, like, what Johnny is this? She didn't know I was actually coming. Because I literally was just stopping by because I was getting some stuff from Fitz Plaza and then I walked over. Her office was right, is right there in Buckhead, right across uh -huh. the street. So the beef that, that you know, because Candy blames Phaedra for you suing her. She blames a lot of people, but she need to blame herself for accountability. It's the thing that, and then I was labeled as the assistant, mm -hmm. if you notice, on a lot of stuff. A lot of people were saying, oh, that's Candy's assistant. I was never the assistant. Carmen was the assistant and Don Juan was the manager. Mm -hmm. But because they saw us out everywhere mm -hmm. without Carmen or without Don Juan, that I was doing all of their jobs, that's how I was labeled as the assistant. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I've never was the assistant. And I was only hired to be the studio manager. But when you find out I can do multiple things and I became the studio manager, the event planner. The well, listen, driver, I, I believe you because I've seen stuff. done one fried chicken before. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, I became all of that thing. But here's the thing is like, well, you know, as a Morehouse man, I keep all my stuff in black and white. Now I tell wow. people, no matter what you do, keep your trail and black and white will speak for you even when you can. Mm -hmm. So, you know me, I keep all my receipts, honey. I've been a blog listen, guy for dang near 20 years. Listen, I know. <laughs> I know, so, but I mean, yeah. But, I, know. I mean, you was back around the time, you know, me and Kid used to be cool. So <laughs> it's like people feel like I like hate her or something. I'm like, I really don't hate her. I just be calling out what's in black and white right in front of me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And she get mad at me for calling out what's in black and white because she want to. <laughs> control the narrative and you can't control me like you control right. everybody else so Absolutely. yeah so um did you really have a part in creating like the olg and all that stuff so i know the name any of that stuff so here's what people misunderstood i never said anything about that name mm. or anything else i was talking about just the restaurant in general we had conversations and i showed my my plans and things for winston's for okay. what I was creating. It had nothing to do with their name, you know, or whatever. I was talking in terms of starting up a restaurant, doing all that stuff, because we talked about initially back in the day, she would have been a silent partner in the restaurant and all of that stuff. So it was just a restaurant concept, like just Period, talking. yeah. It had so she started with... a restaurant after y'all had already <laughs> talked about a restaurant Correct. concept. Okay. Yeah. So it had nothing to do with any of that stuff. Like, hey, you can. Why would I want something with that name or anything of that nature? Like, y'all in your own family business. I know what I produce from my business and my recipes and all the stuff. That has nothing to do with anything else. Mm -hmm. So, that so, so did you get like you know a lot of money? Like, did she settle out of court? Like, what happened? Like, mm -hmm. is it? Is it? I mean, I'm just saying. I need a loan. <laughs> 
<laughs> what you need? What you need? I mean, just a few thousand. I know you got it. You know, the pockets yeah. is padded. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. They, well, they didn't they didn't have a choice. I'll just say my Ooh. attorneys did what they were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And um justice was 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 done whatever the way it was supposed to have been done. So that's all I can say on that aspect. I can't. So I was writing my post back then when I wrote about it. Oh my God, I'm so smart. Oh my God, it's so amazing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, I love to see you thriving, and you know, I love to see everybody doing well and stuff. Yeah. So, and I was really happy to see you because I had no idea you were going to be on this season. I'm like, is that Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> what is Johnny doing on the Mary to Medicine? <laughs> so I love it. Listen, I'm reading people comments. So they, I, listen, NDA, no. <laughs> I, I didn't have to sign nothing. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have to sign anything. What mm. people thought they were signing, you got to read it. That's okay. all. The reading is fundamental. Exactly. <laughs> and most people file lawsuits to settle anyway. So we already yeah. knew that there was some type of settlement if it didn't go, you know. But I, <laughs> I produce some additional stuff. What you mean? What happened? I, I produced some additional footage. Wait a minute. That'd be a, that's a different conversation. We need to talk off, offline for this. Mm. You know, I gotta, I'm gonna send you my phone number in the DMs because I want to yeah, know what's, what's the footage? Mm -hmm. Something Everybody that, said Big Bang Johnny. Something that happened at the studio that I caught on my camera. <laughs> With who and who? With someone in the intern, but we'll get into that. I, you know what? Never mind. There has been words on the streets, on Mama Joyce's streets, <laughs> about. I, I say in general, um, Mama Joyce ain't never lied in the very beginning um, about when she was saying somebody was an opportunist type or anything of that nature from her experience of her thinking. If you think about it. What other job have that person held since they got married? Let me just say this. And, you know, I'm all about the receipts and the tea, and I don't lie on, on nobody. Everybody know I don't lie on nobody. Y'all can see who follow me, who not follow me, all of that. Mm -hmm. I had went to lunch with DJ A1 <laughs> back in the day a couple of times. Uh -huh. And, you know, he wasn't getting paid what he wanted to get paid, and he was spilling all the tea on... Oh yeah, he he probably is saying stuff. And uh, the thing was, like, um, even when they did the what the Candy Coated Nights, mm -hmm. when he used to do that, even when I was there, they would pay the guest artists to come on, but they wouldn't pay pay the the, the host that the people that's working like the host there. It was Nicky Nicole. Nicky Nicole, yep. Um, they Alex, didn't pay me, and I was a guest you know, twice. Like other people that like I always be working in the background. It went to the point where I was just preparing food to help them out to get them. Some. They didn't even want to pay for the people to eat. I said, if y'all got these people up in here filming, doing the stuff, the least you can do is feed them. So mm -hmm. I took it out the kindness of my heart back then. And they can tell you, anybody that worked on that production will tell you that I would get in there and I would just cook some meals just so they can have something. Wow. That's just the cancer in me. I'm a cancer. Yeah. So, like, it's just the, the nature. And I'm like, you got to give these people something. If you ain't paying them, at least feed them. You know, what, I, you know, I'm gonna get messy. What happened between um Junkie Dineva and yeah. uh Dumb One and Candy? Because Junkie Dineva has been online saying that him and Candy ain't friends no more. That probably ever since the play. Well, I knew what had happened at the play. He put them on blast on the blog and about you know the 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 promote the promoter wasn't paying them and something mm -hmm. but it was but they were still cool after she passed him off to Don Juan as his manager mm, that was a whole crock of bullshit that that play could have been saved that tour could have been saved they gave the option because when you know, like when you're dealing with promoters and stuff in different cities even if the tickets are selling well you got to have a certain amount of front money up front to collect from each city mm -hmm. you don't just get um all of the money and you haven't hit all these tours. Mm -hmm. I, we only did the first leg of the tour. <laughs> and we didn't make it to Detroit. I think we were supposed to be headed to Detroit. Now, and when, had, when like checks bouncing and stuff? Well, I don't think the checks bounced because the check never left stations. Um, <laughs> 
So it was like, when they get to that, the promoters, they were trying, they asked. I was there when they called and they asked, would she put up anything to help? Because they got the money once the show, once they get to East City, because they can't get, they can't collect nothing until they go to the actual theater and the show, you know, goes well and they get that money back. But they didn't even want to do that. And you had people like Shirley Murdoch, D. Woods, Courtney Cutney, a lot of people that took off, that, that turned down big jobs that they had. Mm -hmm. And for these people, livelihoods down that time. It was a lot of, of people, cast members, that were really, really affected by that decision. I mean, because it was supposed to be, they calculated what they were supposed to make in the long run. So that's why they took off and said, you know what? I'm going to take on this. I'm going to be on the cast. And soon that happened. Like, people have lost homes and stuff behind so it. So why did she decide not to contribute towards the other? Because I remember, I vaguely remember that blog post and mm -hmm. he was saying something about the promoter was using funds from each play to pay for the next play or something he was saying. I was like, that didn't make sense. But I, I just she was using it because, so the set design, everything was bigger because it went to um, a, a tour. So when it's a tour, it was had to, everything had to be designed different for the role, something that they can pack up and go, but still a much nicer, um, you know, set. Mm -hmm. So the set had to change the costumes, um, even Luscious, you could bring Luscious on, <laughs> Thomas Crawley. Yes. He would interview a lot. We follow each other, he, dri he drive trucks or something now. Yeah, so he he was he was in the play, even- um, What's her so, name? What's her name? It's not with an M, Michaela Malika M M something. I can't think of the girl. Oh, she, was in, um, she was in a group. Yeah, from me, Mila. 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 Okay, Mila yeah. Seven oh two. Yeah. She, so Mila was she was in it too? It was she said seven oh two, wasn't it? I think I don't know, child. Yeah, I, but seven, what, yeah, seven oh two. Yeah. Okay. So it was Mila? Uh, it was a. It was a good bit of them. Mm -hmm. In the initial beginning, it was Eddie Levert, but then Tony Terry, I think, became uh, took over a different role. It was. It was a couple people. It was. It was good people that should have made a, a, a hell of a tour like the first few shows was doing amazing mm -hmm. but and then they had a soundtrack and a dvd and yeah it's like she Carelli probably was, made her money yeah. but they didn't make nothing yeah Shonda was Carelli was doing it see the, if, if Shonda Carelli had released that song instead of the other person that came out with the single at first Which the song? let them love song <laughs> Sandra Carelli sung it in the play and did amazing. Oh. She owned that song, but then somebody manager tried to get them to release it and they didn't go nowhere. Wow. You know, it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, no, Mila is not the member of 702 that passed. It was the uh, the other member of her group that passed. Mm -hmm. Mila is the one who has the baby with Music Soul Child. Mm, okay. 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 Yeah. Where you coming from this time of night with your jacket on? Listen, I had to run some errands. <laughs> That's okay, I understand. You know, I had to, I had to run some errands real quick. Yeah, but I need to take you out to lunch or something. We need to talk. Yeah, we got, we got, uh, I got a whole, um, yeah, Irish. That's the person that Irish, Irish is the best. But yeah, I have a whole, um, <laughs> whole earbook and stuff for you. I want to see. <laughs> you know, I keep my mouth closed. I just want to see. And, you know. <laughs> You can tell me what I can and cannot say, but I want to see. Of course, of course. I mean, but you know, this season or these other seasons, I think that's why they're on the hiatus um, now. Because mm -hmm. right now they would have been filming. Mm -hmm. They they don't know who to keep, what not to keep. But I said, mm -hmm. well, obviously the show is in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. and I keep so telling everybody this. Nobody want to listen to me. They just want to believe all the <laughs> other blogs that's making up stories and stuff. Yes, nah, that show is in jeopardy. They they really don't know what's really going on for real. It's the Nene effect. Nene go, you know, they need to go and cut on that check. But bring her back. Here's, here's the thing. I don't think she can save it at this point. Though. So you can so you can sue a network. <laughs> Get that them settle, pay you out, talk trash about them, call them racist, and all that stuff, and then now they're back at your door. Bethany did it. Um, Jill Zarin did it. Uh, the Caucasians do it all the time. I mean, they I don't know. necessarily call them racist, but they call them out and sue them and talk about, you know, 
unfair treatment and they forced them to drink alcohol they had a pedophile working next to me you know they do all of that and complain and argue with the boss and then they come back they, they do all that so why the black people can't do it is it privilege i, I, I guess <laughs> i'm just saying i mean and it's not like she lied no nah, she didn't and she bethany did. even said today i was actually gonna talk about it on my show but i didn't go live tonight uh, Bethany even said in her podcast that she had texts in her phone from Andy that Andy used to drag Nene. You know, she didn't say exactly what he said, yeah. but she used to, he used to drag Nene and Jill Zarin. She said he had a hair up his ass for both of them and what that um, Nene is definitely blackballed. Because, you know, like I just said, they brought Jill Zarin back. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I guess she'll get back on there. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, I know, I know that she needs it. Don't talk about my definitely... friend like that. We all need it. No, but she really, she oversnit. <laughs> she over... So I don't think she had the the right people in her circle. Mm -hmm. And when you around, you know, different sums of money like that, people don't know how to live money with management and, and all that. She definitely. <laughs> You must be lost, Greg. Though, her attitude. Huh? What happened? Her attitude it really got her in a lot too. Because swag no Nene slander will be allowed. I'm not. I'm not, I'm I'm not trying to slander her, but her boutiques, her restaurant, the lounge, all that stuff. It's about how you treat people. Her employees have complained at the time, saying they wasn't getting compensated. Another compensation issue over there. Um, it was just a lot that had been going on when it came to that, but you got to humble yourself. And, mm -hmm. and I'll ask that, like I tell people, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you don't humble yourself, things will happen, and you'll see when all this stuff gets taken from you, you don't have no choice but to humble yourself and go back to the drawing board. That's true. That's so true. That, that, that is I just missing. feel like with her, and you know, I ain't making no excuses for nobody's attitude or whatever, because I do feel like when you come from nothing and you get a lot of something, it mm -hmm. changes everybody's attitude. You know what I mean? It, it gives you a, a sense of, you know, grandeur or whatever. Yeah. But I do feel like also that she had Greg, you know, managing a bunch of her stuff and even managing her managers. You know what I mean? And what yes. she lost Greg, to me, it just felt like she's just all over the place because you know she don't have that stability right there anymore kind of well, even when greg stuff. was in even when greg was in his last stages i don't give a damn about being on social media this way you should have been every waking moment with your husband until the very 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 last and not on these dates with these other people mm -hmm. doing all this other stuff that that was still kind of wrong judge not lest you it's, be it's judged not, she's judge been not, dealing with greg's sickness for wrong. years that yeah. shit was wrong. I, listen, <laughs> and that I man, hear you. And that man snuck and videoed her. Remember the, man, the the young guy that snuck and videoed them? Yes, you remember that that young guy that snuck and videoed them and posted for clout. And then we, he did. I remember it was on Tasha K. I remember. Yeah, we ain't heard nothing else from that man since then. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, he's still all right. <laughs> he got a. He's a. He's a. He's a party promoter or some child. Yeah, but he was he was managing a hookah bar time. somewhere. Mm -hmm. They said that wasn't her. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't her. That was AI. That was AI. Yeah, yeah, that was Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he photoshopped her sleeping. She had on a white tee. She wasn't naked. She moment. had on a white tee. Her wig was still on. If if you want to convince me, you need to give me a shot with the wig slipping. Wig ain't on. You know, a little titty blurred out or something. I'm just saying. I don't, I don't <laughs> believe it. Yeah. Is that what uh, said Johnny? What's your status at the bank, pay? <laughs> <laughs> Love Shout me. out to being paid at the bank. <laughs> well, you know, I'm I'm in a uh, I'm in a I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm in not, a bit of I'm not talking about Nene like that. People say <laughs> you're kidding, you're talking about Nene. I'm not talking about Nene in it like that way. I'm just saying in general, you know, we already we all have been to different places, but you will know when you hey, said Michelle gonna you kick you out when you start and, talking about Nene. And you, and you don't block. Look, and then when Bravo had blocked you. <laughs> The chicks is gonna stop. You gotta be smarter with your investment. 
Yeah, that's everybody though. Like mm -hmm. you know, it, you know, everybody. Let's bring it back to Candy, okay? But she, uh, she knew not. To, she knew not to go uh, listen to the business advice from Peter. <laughs> <laughs> now, Peter, how, Peter's the only person that you, you know, ain't gonna drag all my friends. That's it. Peter, the only person you know that opened up a bar one in every state in the same. They had the same issue in every state. Peter is doing quite well for himself, okay? <laughs> leave Peter alone. I, I believe, Buy I believe one Miami Peter is alone, the but... shit, okay? But you got, like, okay, but Peter been running bars since the 70s, okay? You can't take that away from me. He he's had some successes and some failures, and you know of, over everybody else that bars don't last a, a billion years. Yeah. <laughs> they say you doing good. Get off D. D. I'm not. I'm not on her like that. <laughs> yeah, you can't be dragging any of Peter. I'm not, dra I'm not, I'm not dragging this leaks, but there is a leak in her building, so she got to fix it. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Not the leak in the building, honey. <laughs> I mean, that everybody has something on. Everybody has something about themselves that can be fixed. Yeah. So, I do speak the truth, but you know, I don't like, yeah. you know, dragging people who, you know, listen, I support people who support me. So yeah. even however y'all feel about Peter or Nini or whatever, that's on y'all, but yeah, I ain't they, they support you, they do what they think. And mm. Johnny Bessie, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being busy. I'm but just, I used to do the same. Remember back in I used to do the same with Candy. People used to accuse me of being on Candy's payroll. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as I started telling the truth, all of a sudden, you hate Candy. Yeah. Same thing with Phaedra. Phaedra used to be my attorney before she even joined Housewives. Then as soon as I start like, you know, saying how I feel or whatever, all of a sudden, you hate Phaedra. It's like, child, if y'all don't shut up. It's like you gotta people people gotta understand you have to have an opinion about anything. If you mm -hmm. if you don't speak on stuff or you don't have an opinion, then what's the point of speaking? Mm -hmm. So you know, it, it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> they said biscuits and bullets. That's what they call the OLG game. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I don't even know about what they got going on. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, I appreciate you joining me tonight. Look, oh, why, why am I mad? It says <laughs> T K a power couple. <laughs> Jenny ain't mad. Am, Jenny is paid. Am, Jenny got a check. I am not mad at anybody. It, it, look, now you want me to look. You want me to say something on that? How are they a power couple when only one person got power? The Bible said y'all got to be equally yoked. So if only if you didn't come into this with the, and then that's the prenup was the issue why they almost didn't get married. So if you want to go back to some shit and understand, <laughs> I forgot I was the I was the planner. I was there. I knew I everything. See on Candy's wedding too. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, the prenup was the issue, but what he did. <laughs> He now Todd Todd, I can tell you, Todd is very calculated. Todd is very calculated. Let me tell you what he did. <laughs> he signed that prenup and he knew how much and what the prenup protected, right? Mm -hmm. After the marriage, what was the first thing that they did? Start opening up commercial properties. Because commercial real estate is worth more than residential. Mm -hmm. And start having babies. So that in the event that there's a split, <laughs> you can live the same luxury lifestyle that you live in. To which you're accustomed. You know what's crazy? Just last night. Crazy. He's not, he don't have any other job. Just last night, they was playing <laughs> season six. They played three episodes from three season six on Bravo <laughs> last night. I don't know why I was like, need me on TV? What the hell <laughs> happening? And it was that one of the episodes was when um, Mama Joyce got into it with Carmen over the talk about Carmen stealing hair or whatever. And uh, using that leftover hair. <laughs> yeah, and then it was the one where Mama Joyce was sitting at the table with Todd and uh, asking him was he going to sign the prenup or whatever, mm -hmm. and she said something about. Um, just as long as you, whatever she said, to which you're accustomed. That's what made me think of that. So, mm -hmm. you know, he was like, well, I don't know if I'm going to sign it or something. So it's like, mm. 
But I've been saying that Ty is collecting receipts and stuff because at the end of the day, he keep talking about daddy daycare, daddy daycare. Yeah. That's all he do is daddy daycare. Okay. So I can see him filing for divorce and getting alimony and child support from him. Uh, he, 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 because he's being taken care of. He's a kept man. Damn. Ty not doing nothing? Ain't he doing something? Is that why Candy keep him on a short leash? You ain't say Todd, you too, Kevin. It's, it's, some, it's some more we got to talk about offline. <laughs> yeah, we going to talk for These real. These receipts and pictures and stuff, you going to be lying. Yeah. I don't it's, think I'd be too surprised, honestly, from what I know. You'll, I, be surprised, you'll be surprised as to who. It's the who. That's, that's going to be the surprise part. Can you call me tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow afternoon. I'll be out in the streets if you want to have lunch or something. Look, that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, I want to see. I roll, I roll up on you. Okay. I want to see, honey. <laughs> I can't wait. Ooh. <laughs> They talk about telling. No, he can't tell y'all. He got to tell me first, and I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> right. Ooh. Well, I, ooh. Well, I'll find Johnny. I don't want to get you in too much trouble. You know how I am. I, I see you all night talk shit. Listen, I'm just chilling. Me I'm too. My, my honey margaritas and stuff. I'm just in my zone. Yeah, I'm up for the night. I got to I gotta edit some videos for someone <laughs> my shit is <laughs> I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it past. <laughs> not Portia. That made me call Portia. I mean, that shit was funny. That line when Nene said it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, can you? They was in Dubai. Marlo. <laughs> was like what? <laughs> yeah, well, but Portia, Portia know too much too. Portia know a lot. Mm hmm. Portia know a lot yep. about Portia. the drunging. Portia know a hell of a lot of shit. That's why Portia friendship became more valuable. Then Phaedra's? But didn't Phaedra know a lot? Phaedra, Phaedra knows a lot, but Portia know a little bit more. Because <laughs> Portia was brought into the situation. Yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not Shamia involved somehow, child. Shamia just um <laughs> Shamia Shamia played both sides of the fence in terms of so Shamia is Portia's best friend, mm -hmm. but then when that whole other thing went on, Shamia was trying to be the peacemaker between the two to bridge both of them back. So if anything that I know of, Shamia was just trying to be the peacemaker in the middle. Oh, okay. I know she was offered a peach and she turned it down because her husband didn't want her to do it. No. Nah. He didn't want to be they, a part of that. Many, they, they got too many skeletons on their end. On they end. The, the husband got some skeletons too? Because, you know, him and Simon, they got, you know, yeah. they, they got their own business dealings. And, you know, people like that, they they don't want to be. Yeah, but that. Simon didn't mind. Shit. Now Simon might not mind, <laughs> but back then Simon was like, "Yeah, y'all ain't going." It's there. so crazy because I was looking through. I got like videos from like Periscope and stuff like that, and I was I found this video of me at Time. Remember Time Simon's Bar? Yeah. I was at Time. He had invited me to Time when it first opened, and he was like, "Let me take a picture of you with a drink to put on my social media." <laughs> And Simon was just a little short, fat African man. <laughs> and yeah. I was just like, oh, God, you know. <laughs> and uh, we was just having us a good time in Simon's bar. He was giving me all kind of like, you know, take, yeah. we was taste testing all the food and stuff. It was it was fun. Okay. You had some jollof rice and everything up in there? I can't remember what I had. <laughs> I just remember Jack and Ineva was in the video. That's the only reason I didn't even post it because it's, you know, it's old TV or whatever. Uh, he was in the video looking like a crackhead. Oh, um, that ain't nothing. Uh, Why people don't believe me that he was on crack? I was like, oh, that that was a well, coke. I, that coke was that coke, coke crack, coke. crack, coke, 
coke, crack, 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 coke, coke pills, <laughs> methamphetamine, <laughs> ecstasy, whatever, popping it, poppers, whatever. Was, he was doing everything. <laughs> it, it was it was bad. It Very was, bad. Very yeah. bad. So, and people was acting like you know I was wrong for putting him on blast about my townhouse or whatever. It's like no, that was wrong. it was horrible. That huh? was bad. that shit was horrible. I saw I saw all that footage and stuff. That was. Yeah, that's bad. And then you don't, you don't lie, try you don't to lie. Like that, that you consider a friend, just in general, because it ain't no way in holy hell for you to leave your friend spot looking like that. That that shit. Was and crazy. he didn't pay rent for three months, so clearly I was giving you grace because some most people put you out after the first month. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't gonna go down. I'm getting triggered. I ain't gonna. <laughs> I ain't gonna. I clout chasing off of people. These people funny. They said, "Were you ever <laughs> friends I, with Jackie?" And then before I don't have the clout chase off of KNT again. I was already established way before then. I'll be celebrating 20 years in business next year. Um, mm -hmm. at the time of their wedding, I was doing my 10th anniversary, which they spoke at my 10th anniversary at Sweet Lounge. The video is on YouTube. If you type in my name, you'll see all type of videos pop up. But um, I don't have the clout chase on nobody. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm like, they said, I, were, you you, you, were you friends with Junkie Funky? No, oh, okay. I, I wasn't. We were never friends. Um, we just were in the same space. Um, mm -hmm. I only knew him because he would come to the factory. Mm -hmm. You know, but I I didn't know him personally outside of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when Don Juan put his feet on the internet when he came over to Candy's house high or something for for Super Bowl or something. But anyway. He said, what's wrong with drug recovery? Let it go. What's that got to do with me? Right. And Who said oh. he recovered? When he go to rehab? <laughs> um, Once a junkie, always a junkie. What did you say? It ain't like he don't still do it. <laughs> they guess they're trying to um, play Amy White. <laughs> they, now, they be so mad at me. <laughs> I do not lie on people. Trust and believe. <laughs> and it ain't no alleged. Yeah. Anyway. You know how people are. People, yeah. damned if you I do. Know people got their fans don't. or whatever, but that's okay. You know, yeah. you can be yeah. over here and hang out, but don't be trying to act like I got to talk nice about your faves because I ain't going to do it. Right. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. At all. Nah. Hey, Mrs. Boss, honey. <laughs> well, Jenny, I appreciate you. You know this going to end up on YouTube, too. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> And I can't wait to talk to you mm -hmm. some more and see these videos. <laughs> we got a date for tomorrow. Okay. All right, friend. No problem. Be safe. Yeah, enjoy the rest and of you your too. Evening. Or you early so... morning since it's almost two in the morning. I know. I'm up to <laughs> child. Let me finish editing these videos. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Good night, good. friend. All right, you too. All right. Bye. <laughs> You said all your lives, you consistently, what'd you say? Want credit for putting him out on drugs. What is you talking about? I ain't nobody care about that. Did you see Man Hands and Tasha K get into it? Uh, I think I did. Uh, Tasha K was with, um, I mean, Lil Boozy <laughs> was with um, Sydney Star. I think I did saw that clip. Uh, bring Johnny to Patreon after you speak to him. Okay. We might do it live, honey, from the from the bar, from the restaurant or something. Uh, we need y'all one on Patreon, record it, and call Carl. What? Better on YouTube, able to rewind the best bits. Okay. Did Johnny have the same video that Latasha's husband had? Ooh. Why you didn't say that when he was on here? Ooh, that's right. I forgot, Latasha, that Rocky said he got some footage, allegedly. So um, I appreciate y'all hanging out. We've been on almost an hour. I've been on TikTok and Instagram and the TikTok. What the TikTok? I forgot. I was over. Like, y'all, TikTok people, I'm on Instagram right now, Instagram.com. I am ATL, and I was just talking to Johnny Winston, the uh, marriage, uh, the wedding planner for Letitia Lunsford, and also Candy's old wedding, prior wedding planner who had sued Candy on Real Housewives. So that was a good little interview. I didn't even know he was going to come on. 
You said it was extremely interesting. Yes, honey, I always want the tea. Anybody who want to give me the tea, I'll take it. Uh, you said that rumor was from this summer. When I'm going on YouTube tomorrow night, Leslie, I promise. I was supposed to go on YouTube tonight, but I didn't like the way my hair is looking. And I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. <laughs> I be feeling pressure. You know, look, I got tracks coming out, stuff. I be feeling pressure, and I got to look my best on the YouTube, because the YouTube videos live forever. <laughs> Uh, you be rewinding videos, be like, oh, hell, I hated that outfit. Ah, uh, uh, hell, I hate it when my hair was like that. Ah, uh, uh, hell, so now I be trying to, like, at least, you know, look a little bit decent. Hey, Yanni's Treasures, I see you, friend. Well, thank y'all for uh, hanging out with me tonight. It's been uh, a blast. He said, you can't load this lot you can't uh, i think i'm gonna um download it and i'll probably put it on patreon first and maybe premiere it tomorrow so um if you missed the live you can see it again tomorrow you can also see it on youtube okay P you listen i know people be redistributing my lives and stuff but uh don't be redistributing my lives without my permission you said you like the bangs too many people was calling me mama joyce i said put a part in my hair i don't want no bangs <laughs> they was like you got the mama joyce hair and then somebody said i had on a mama joyce wig i was like it's not a wig it's a weave <laughs> so i was like what's the difference i don't know but it's not a wig my hair some of my hair out so it don't count you know, I got I got clip-ins and pieces and all kind of stuff in here, child, in addition to, to my hair. Because you see my gray hair up there? That's all me. That's, I got a whole gray spot in the middle of my head right there. So, um, you love the model videos? Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to keep doing them. I'm trying to get my, um, well, Sheen had reached out to me. I said this on my Patreon. She had reached out to me last year. But I don't be answering my emails. So I was trying to get like a Sheen affiliate code or either a Fashion Nova affiliate code because I buy both of them all the time. And, you know, y'all keep asking me and stuff. I might as well be an affiliate or something, right? What Biggie Paul's doing? What is you doing up? It is 2 o'clock in the morning. Biggie is in his uh, kennel asleep somewhere over there. Uh, don't do the Mama Joyce wig. <laughs> Why y'all so mean? Why I can't do the Mama Joyce wig? What's wrong with Mama Joyce hair? What's wrong with it? Just because I had bangs don't make it a Mama Joyce weave. It was just a little bang, a little bang yang. Uh, put your straight from the A logo in your video so other one, others can be dinged for copyright. They can be dinged for copyright without my logo. I'm in it. <laughs> I'm the copyright. <laughs> I am the copyright, okay? Uh, What you doing up, Ernest? Go to bed. Yes, you need to become a Patreon. There are perks, honey. If you in the uh, higher tiers, you get mugs and you get uh, hoodies. Uh, if you are the $5 tier, you get access to the After Dark live streams. If you are in the $10 tier, you get access to all the live streams from the perpetuity of uh, as long as the Patreon been there. It's been on for like four years, so you get access to all those videos. And we had a ball, child. We be talking about so much stuff over there. You also get access to my private Discord group. And I didn't come over here to sell my Patreon, but since you asked, okay. Uh, you get access to my private Discord group. And in the Discord, like literally, they be spilling tea all day long. And it's different topics and things in the Discord. Discord is great. So there's that. You said, get Johnny to connect us to sweet tea. That was That's on my agenda too, Javion. That is on my agenda too, Johnny, if you're still in here. Uh, let Sweet Tea know I want to talk to her, but I'm going to tell you that anyway when I see you tomorrow. And I'm I'm not going to forget, Johnny. I don't, I don't know if I... I think I do have your phone number. But if it's not good, I'm going to call you on the Instagram, Johnny. <laughs> You've been following me for a while? Oh, cool. Anointed. Thank you for following. Like, I really don't even promote my Patreon. It's like, if you want to support, support. If you don't, like, even just your click and view, and view is a support enough. 
Where's Jack hiding at? Yeah, he in the bed. You know, that's my roommate. <laughs> now, people going to be believing Josh live here. Josh does not live here, okay? Can somebody tell the people that Josh does not live here? Uh, you talked about her a little on IG. Who you talked about? Um, Letitia. Okay. Well, thank y'all. Look, the TikTok is, was TikTok and see, I don't never go live on TikTok and uh, Instagram. So I had a good time with y'all. Thank y'all for all the gifts and stuff on TikTok. That was a blessing. Thank you. Um, and thank y'all over here on the YouTube. A hundred of y'all up this time of night. What y'all doing up this time of night? Because y'all know my, my lives be disappearing. I look nice this morning. Thank you. I got on my little um Fashion over three piece. I'm burning up in this damn what I call teddy bear fur. <laughs> I look like a big, I look like Fozzy Bear. <laughs> we got the pants, the, the the pants, the shirt, and the jacket. And I'm burning up. It's hot. But I don't want to take it off because then I'll be naked in front of y'all. Anywho, I will see y'all in the next live video. Okay. If you are watching this on youtube tiktok wherever you're watching it don't forget to like share and subscribe okay subscribe to my youtube youtube.com michelle atlian brown subscribe to my instagram instagram.com i am atlian subscribe to my tiktok tiktok i am atlian oh i got two thousand and what's that one thousand and six one thousand six one point six k likes it's so tiny i need my glasses on but, um, yes, so I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all know I don't have a lot of people over on um, TikTok, but I'm growing, okay? I am growing on the TikTok. <laughs> so I'm going to post some more TikToks. I know y'all get tired of my little selfie videos, but that's all I got right now. <laughs> I'll be taking the videos out of my phone, doing my little, my little compilations and stuff. I'll be like, oh, my outfit cute. Let me take a selfie video, okay? So I'll be putting my little outfits on uh, TikTok, having me a good old time. So as I learn TikTok, I might put some more where I'm talking and stuff. But look, you got to give me, give me time. I can only talk one place at a time. I talk on, on YouTube, I talk on Facebook, and I occasionally talk on Instagram. Okay? Anywho, you going to find my TikTok. It's not hard to find. I am a alien, and I'll pop up. Anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Good night, TikTok. Good night, Instagram.